For me, this is not just a matter of policy. It's personal. I stood next to President Obama as the Marines carried those flag-draped caskets. All eyes were on Secretary of State Hillary Clinton as she spent an emotional day answering lawmakers' questions about the September 11th attacks on Benghazi and the security failures that preceded it. It's likely her last big appearance as Secretary of State. Clinton acknowledged the controversy around what the administration knew and when. We didn't have a clear picture and we probably didn't do as clear a job explaining that we did not have a clear picture until days later creating what I, I think are legitimate questions. But when pressed, she fought back, focusing the discussion on prevention. The you American know, people could have known that within days, and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect, the fact is we had four dead Americans. Was it I because understand. of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? What difference at this point does it make? It is our job to figure out what happened and do everything we can to prevent it from ever happening again, Senator. For the most part, Clinton stuck to policy, presenting dozens of action items and calling on the House to pass legislation. And for the most part, she was treated with praise and respect from both sides of the aisle. Secretary Clinton, I approached this hearing with some degree of sadness. It's my first and uh, your last. Uh, thank you for uh, the uh, kindness you've shown this committee. Your extraordinary service, stamina, and your determination. I want to echo the praise from my colleagues. Appreciate the, uh, the transparency with which you talk to all of us. But her day of testimony wasn't without its detractors. And the answers, frankly, that you've given this morning are not satisfactory to me. You accept the culpability for the worst tragedy since 9-11. Had I been president at the time, I would have relieved you of your post. Uh, Rand Paul there with some of the harshest words of the day. Aaron Blake from the Fix blog uh, here to parse them. So Rand Paul going kind of hard on Clinton there. Yeah, this was maybe the big moment of the day. Uh, Rand Paul saying that he would have fired uh, Clinton uh, if, as, if she was his Secretary of State. Uh, you know, this is really kind of the, the one clash of the day between potential 2016 presidential contenders. Rand Paul's very uh, closely looking at a, a 2016 campaign. He's uh, looking to be kind of the conservative alternative. And so he went after her hard. She uh, gave as good as she got. She was, uh, she was on the ball all day. Uh, and a lot of people thought she acquitted herself very well. Yeah, was this, is it right to read this as Hillary's attempt to say, this is where I deal with Benghazi, don't ask me about it in three years? She would much rather have this hearing today then have to deal with this as a, at a debate or in some other forum two or three years from now. It's much better to try to put these things behind you uh, years away, especially if it becomes something that's unhelpful. Uh, that allows her time to deal with it and get rid of it before she actually has to run. Uh, so, well, 2016, just 36 short months away. Uh, and a poll came out today showing that Hillary's pretty popular. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about this whole situation is Republicans were really anxious to, to take their shots at her. She actually entered this hearing with a higher popularity rating than she ever has before, according to ABC News, Washington Post polling. 67% of Americans had a positive view of her. Uh, what's really interesting about the poll, I think, is that Republicans who three-fourths of them uh, during her time as First Lady didn't like her, had strongly negative feelings about her, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 35 percent now have strongly negative, negative feelings about her. Uh, 37 percent of Republicans say that they actually like Hillary Clinton right now. Okay. Well, Aaron, thanks for that. Thank you.